Hello, my name is Elvira Trombley and currently I am studying the Bachelor of Science program. My major is Environmental Science and my minor is Biology and I am from Beaver Lake Cree Nation. Um, and my name is Victoria Delorme. I'm currently in a four-year bachelor's degree in sociology with a minor in education and psychology. And I am from uh, Kauzas First Nation out from Treaty 4 territory. Hi, my name is um, Robert Tate. My spirit name is uh, Makade Makwa. I'm from uh, Kuchiching First Nations in Treaty 3 territory, Northwestern Ontario. I'm a psychology major. I'm doing an arts dumb in the second year of my arts degree. And I'm also taking English as a minor. Hello, my name is Charmaine Christensen, and I'm a psychology major with a minor in sociology. I'm from Dawson City, um, Yukon Territories. I chose Concordia because I did some research online and I saw some other student videos that had high recommendations of this place, um, especially for its small size and the one-on-one -on -one time that you get with professors. It's also right next to the Edmonton's beautiful River Valley, um, close to nature, the beauty and the um, the blending of the spirituality and the education is a real privilege. It was the best choice that I've actually made. It was the biggest choice I've ever made. And I come here every day because like, it's like my family, it's home. Concordia it really does its best to um, to incorporate the traditional teachings as well as uh, traditional ceremonies. I know that there's uh, sweat lodges. Um, there's a place, you know, to come to smudge. Um, there's uh, Danielle at the Indigenous Knowledge and Research Center is an invaluable resource. Hello, my name is Danielle Powder and I am the manager of the Indigenous Knowledge and Research Center at Concordia University of Edmonton. The Indigenous Knowledge and Research Center is a brand new addition to the Concordia campus. We just launched in September 2018. It's a really great campus and um, it's in a beautiful location. We're right by the river, right on the land. And um, you know everybody knows each other, so we're just like a great big family here, and that's one of the the draws I think for a lot of students. Uh, some of the Indigenous focused events that we host here on campus throughout the year are uh, we do an annual round dance. So this year will be our third. So I hope that everyone can make it out. Well, the Indigenous Knowledge and Research Center uh, is a place that Indigenous students can go for support in a variety of different ways. Um, one of the areas that we support students in is accessing scholarships and bursaries. So another way that Concordia honors and acknowledges our Indigenous students is our graduation ceremony. So we do include Indigenous uh, components within our convocation, but we will also be having a special ceremony um, guided in, uh, in a pipe ceremony and in prayer for our Indigenous graduates and wishing them well on their future journeys after they leave us at Concordia. We'll also be honoring them with a gift and a beaded medallion with the Concordia colors to, so that they can always uh, carry the fond memories that they made here at, at Concordia. It's so wonderful to be able to come to a place where you have people that you share sorts of commonalities with and because of that it really um, it really draws you in. You want to be here um, and this place can be serious, it can be sad, it can be so funny, it can be everything that we need it to be. Make friends, reach out. There are people here that are willing to help you. For new students to Concordia, my advice would be to kind of try to work through your barriers of maybe being shy at first or um, finding the supports that you need. I have a learning disability and at first I didn't want to acknowledge it and I tried to hide it, but my grades um, paid the consequences and so I reached out to the accommodations here in Concordia and it has been a great influence on my grades and just you know study time and tutoring. And if you really need help that person will reach out and if you reach out people will help you regardless of where you're from if you're blood if you don't even know this person you know they will help and I will be willing to help any new student because that's a cool thing to do. Yeah. Um, can give some great advice on science and stuff. So, um, but best advice is try because you can't succeed if you don't try. Yeah. I'd say um, 
uh, keep up the work. Know that you're smart enough that you can you can do this. That you have what it takes. Um, do your homework. Um, work hard. Sometimes we need to work a little bit harder and stay a little bit longer, but it will pay off. And be the best you can be, Jim and Rich.